This is the Star Wars, the Black Series from Star Wars, the Mandalorian. We have Axe Wolves. Now, I picked up this figure from a local hobby shop called Babe's Children's World. I wasn't sure I was going to pick up this figure. I honestly feel that I don't need this in my collection, but this figure is hyped up here in Manila. Like every single Toys R Us or Toy Kingdom store I went to, except for one Toys R Us store, this guy was sold out. It's either he was sold out or he was not delivered. If you want to know why he wasn't delivered, I'll do another video on that. He was always out, sold out. I mean, I, I would come across Ayla, Secura, Darth Maul, but him, only one Toys R Us store had him. The flagship Toys R Us store, which I've done a video of, but uh, I wanted to know what the hype was all about. So let's see. I hope... I hope this figure does not disappoint. I suspect that this figure uses the Death Watch Mandalorian uh, body uh, buck or mold, uh, but I could be wrong. So let's see. The box. Okay. All right. Great artwork, by the way. I love that. Very close rendition of how he appeared on the show. So, so far, so good. The figure looks good. Uh, I was glad I was able to pick through several figures that the shop still had. See, this is the advantage of having a window uh, packaging uh, for for figures, but I hear there this, this kind of packaging has come to an end and Hasbro is really shifting uh, to that closed box type, even for Black Series, which just really sucks. So anyway, he comes with a Mandalorian helmet and it has that scope. The scope does actually feel so much like the Death Watch Mandalorian figure. I do apologize for not showing off that figure because I no longer have that figure. But the helmet does look and feel like it. Uh, it's just that it's, it's a little bit compressed uh, because of the lack of a head sculpt underneath, but uh, it should fit him nicely. So I love the paint apps going about this helmet. Helmet's pretty good. Okay, so he also has a backpack with uh, rotating jets. Yep, very nice, painted very nicely. He has the pistol, Mandalorian blaster pistol. Let's see if I can move it. Yep, very cool. Nicely painted, good sturdy plastic, and then the figure itself. Yeah, very cool. From what I can judge, at least, I mean, without if you remove this belt right here and you replace it with another one, it feels like it's the buck that they used for the Death Watch Mandalorian. Uh, the soft PVC armor plating, yeah, very, very much like uh, that Death Watch Mandalorian. Uh, there's some paint right here on the gauntlet. I wish they could have added a little bit more paint. Uh, nice uh, battle damage paint apps on the chest. Back part, hardly any paint apps. Uh, some paint here, here. Would have been nice if they added a little bit more paint. It does kind of feel like it, it feels a little bit plain because of the a lot of the unpainted plastic, but it still looks good. It looks true to how he looked like on the show. Let me give you a closer look at that head sculpt. Yeah, it's a wonderful, wonderful depiction of Axe Wolves on the show. The actor, uh, the hair sculpt could use a little bit more work. I mean, look at this guy. Look how flowing that hair is compared to this one. But I think they got the facial expression, the eyes, the, uh, the beard. Yeah, it looks, it looks pretty much okay. So as far as mold degradation goes, uh, so far so good. The joints seem to be okay, tight enough. A little looseness on the swivels uh, for the shoulders. You go in and out, biceps, no, I should say elbow swivel hinge. A little looseness, just a little bit. Uh, wrists, this one goes up and down. This one goes in and out. Hips, yep. Okay, the legs are 
are pretty tight. It's the arms that are a little bit loose. So overall, I think they preserve the mold quite well. So yeah, pretty good. Backpack, let's see if we can plug it in. Huh, okay. It goes through the molded in vest or armor. I love that they're doing this now, that the armor is actually a separate piece and it's not molded onto the chest. I love that. Pistol, I guess you can hold it. Oh, it's a little loose on his hand. And then, uh, let me see, it'll fit the holster. Okay. Yeah, so far so good. And then finally the helmet. Oh, wow. I, I didn't think it was gonna be that loose. It's pretty loose. I mean, I guess we were all complaining about the Deluxe Boba Fett, that it was way too tight. Bo-Katan was way too tight. Uh, they've overcompensated with this figure. It's pretty loose. Sorry to say it. Oh, man. This would have been a perfect figure. But you know what? I guess it's, it's for the best that it's a little loose so that the helmet doesn't get distorted or expands too much. But I hope, I hope it doesn't fall. Okay, okay, looks okay. I guess it kind of stays on, but it kind of jiggles a little bit. The sculpt is still good. Overall, very, very much impressed with this figure. And so some final thoughts on this Star Wars The Black Series Axe Woves. I can totally understand what the hype is all about. The hype is absolutely real. This is an amazing figure. It uses uh, a great figure mold. The Death Watch Mandalorian figure mold is one of the best uh, figure molds uh, for any Mandalorian figure from Black Series line. I was absolutely blown away with that figure. And it's no surprise that... I, I really like how this figure came out. Now, my only gripe, my only small, small nitpick of a problem with this figure is the looseness of that helmet. The fit isn't a perfect fit. It could just be on my copy of the figure. Let me know in the comment section if the actual figure you got has the same issue, but I think they overcompensated on the clearance and I wouldn't blame them because the way they fixed the clearances on, on this Bo-Katan Bo figure, I mean, it was too tight. They adjusted it with Costas Reeves and with the Return of the Jedi Deluxe Boba Fett figure. I mean, that was a horrible, horrible fit on the helmet. I, I guess they just, they just really overcompensated and made it very loose on this one, which is going to detract a few points from its total rating or at least half a point so my rating for this figure is going to be a nine and a half out of ten it's a shame it would have been a perfect figure had they fixed the clearances of that helmet paint apps uh quality control issues and overall quality of the figure is absolutely spot on I got lucky with this figure the head sculpt was painted beautifully there were no frozen joints I mean, this is a near perfect figure in my opinion. It just sucks that it is yet again, one per case. The figures that most collectors want, Hasbro has a knack for making them in limited quantities and making, it, making life difficult for a lot of collectors. But one per case policy of Hasbro, I will reserve my opinion and thoughts, uh, a more detailed uh, discussion on that for another video. Do let me know in the comment section if you want me to discuss the one per case policy of Hasbro. But suffice to say, it is an incredible figure. I really love this figure. It's a, it's a great addition 
to anybody's Black Series collection, especially if you're into uh, the Black Series figures for The Mandalorian. Let me know in the comment section what you think of the Star Wars The Black Series from Star Wars The Mandalorian Axe Wolves. Hit that notification bell so you never miss out on any of my latest video reviews. And if it's your first time here, please subscribe. Thanks for watching.